Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then we'll solve it together. Okay, so it tells us to sketch a cubic polynomial whose zeros are 1, 3, and negative 2. So what I'm going to do is sketch my y-axis, my x-axis starting there, and the zeros, what does it tell me? It just tells me that this thing has to cross at 1. There's 1, 2, 3, and negative 2. I think the general assumption is if you don't put numbers on the regents, they're assuming it's going up by 1s. But just to be safe and make sure they don't have any chance to take any points away, I'll put a unit in. I'll put a 4 right here. So now they know what I'm counting by. Now, with a cubic polynomial, what does that mean? It means there's some polynomial, let's call it p of x, where the leading term, the highest power term, is has x to the third power. Then there's some other stuff. We don't really know about the other stuff in the function, uh, right? This is, this is me just guessing. We don't really even know. And we also don't know the value of the coefficient of the leading term. But the idea is that if there is an odd degree and a, the coefficient of that is positive, it would look something like this, right? That's if a is positive. And if a is negative, it's also an acceptable answer, or it looks something like this, right? Depending on the value, if a is less than zero. This would be a more accurate description. Um, the idea is though it's going to cross at these zeros. So whatever you draw, make sure it crosses at these zeros. Uh, what you're not going to do, let's do an example of something we shouldn't do. So these are both acceptable answers. Sometimes seeing a counterexample is helpful. Uh, I will draw in blue what we can't do. It could not be right like that. This is incorrect for two reasons. The end behavior, that just means what this function's height is doing as x is getting really negative or really positive. In both cases for this function, as x goes towards positive infinity, y goes towards positive infinity, and as x goes towards negative infinity, y goes towards positive infinity. That kind of end behavior, it's kind of like the end behavior of a parabola that's opening upward, right? That's reserved for um, even polynomials, even degree polynomials, not cubic. Cubic is an odd degree polynomial. Even degree polynomials would be like this right here, or another incorrect version like this here. And in this case, this is the one opening upward is the incorrect version when a would be positive, and here this is the incorrect version when a is less than zero. It's opening downward. And in this case, when x approaches positive or negative infinity, why the heights approach negative infinity, not positive infinity, as it did before. So there are lots of options in how you draw this. Not specifying a y-intercept, they're not specifying uh, much on it other than the zeros. But when they tell you to cubic polynomial, the end behavior has to be like this, where x approaches positive infinity, and so does y, and x approaches negative infinity, and so does y. They do the same thing. Or x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity and x approaches positive infinity, and y approaches go, y goes down, y approaches negative infinity. And either of these cases would be acceptable, but you'd pick one or the other in this problem. All right, thank you.